What up, my man and society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Log, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. It is absolutely free. That is how you help my channel get into the algorithm. Highly appreciate if you go ahead and do that. Now, what I wanted to talk about was actually something that I was seeing, right, a conversation, and I was getting some emails about this, right? I know they were sent to me about, like, I think it was, like, the day before yesterday or yesterday, right? But I've barely seen them, and it was discussing about an incident you know, involving Compa Raider and WAC 100, right? I guess, you know, an incident that had occurred, right? I didn't know what they were talking about, but they sent me some clippings. So I seen them earlier today in the morning, right? To get a better understanding of what, what people were talking about, right? It's just that I just won't go watch No Jumper. You know, it's just the way it is. And, um, you know, I went back, right, um, to, I think it's... uh. Too gangster for YouTube news or something like that. It's on my boy. You know, if I, you know, didn't get the channel right, uh, the name of your channel right. Um, so I scoped out that he did a video on it, right? And then I was seeing the comments and, um, you know, different people putting different stuff. And I had seen one that had said, um, how come whenever it's uh, Mexican taking a nail, these people don't speak on it, but when it's a brother, you know, everyone's quick to jump on it or some, something to that effect, right? And, you know, it, it's crazy how people make this a racial issue, right? When it's not, it's it's just, you know, conflict between two individuals. One just happens to be Hispanic, one just happens to be black. Why the fuck people make it into a racial issue, I have no idea. Because I've seen even less individuals being like, oh, the, he's lying, bro. You know, Mexican taking a nail to a black person. like, And that's coming from my last and it's like, why can't a Mexican take a nail to a black, bro? Like, you acting like if no black could beat a Mexican, bro, which is the most stupidest thing you can think of, right? Black people are not tougher than Mexicans. Mexicans are not tougher than blacks. Blacks are not better than Mexicans. Mexicans are not better than blacks. Do you not get it? There is no ethnicity superior to no other. Every ethnicity has its, you know, great fighters and weenies and all that to it. Thinking that one is more better than the other is the most stupidest shit you can say. Especially when two ethnicities being so close to each other. If you knew your history, then you would understand that. And that goes for both sides. Because both sides have their ignorant individuals to it where they want to be talking, you know, madness. Right? When somebody clearly puts their ethnicity ahead of somebody else, then don't listen to that person. Because clearly he has his head up his ass and he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Obviously, that's already a biased view. You know what I'm saying? Now, WAC 100 went on there, and I guess he had said that, you know, some individuals had rolled up to Compa Raider's pad, and they bombed on him and his homie, and they robbed them and stuff like that, right? He's telling Adam. And I don't know if this information is true or not. You know what I mean? Their neighborhoods do be fit, and this, you know, might have, you know got him, you know, or got these individuals to go do whatever or something, right? Um, according to WAC. Um, now, I don't know if this to be true or not, but if it is, it's just like I said, it's just street stuff. Street stuff happens. Their neighbors beef it. This is normal things that happen on a day-to-day. -day. It's just that now you have individuals going online and throwing it out there. Why? I have no idea. Because they're burning people, right? You know, because Wack is throwing his homies into the bus like that, bro. You know what I mean? Because in case of who that wants to do an investigation or some shit like that, right? You already have an individual talking about a crime that occurred. You know, and that he knows the individuals and that he has footage, evidence. <laughs> and it's being broadcast to, you know, thousands, if not even millions of people. Depending on, you know, how, how big the video or how many views it gets. Right? You know, he's self-incriminating him and his goons. There was no reason to mention that story or mention that incident. If he and his goons already know what they did, then that's all. And, you know, him, Comparator, and his goons, they're the only ones that need to know. You know what I mean? The audience doesn't need to know. Why are you looking to prove something to the audience? The fuck does the audience have to do with the streets or your guys' beef? Don't worry about how they view you. Or if you got a payback or not. As long as you and your party know what it is. Because if everyone knows, guess who else is going to know? The cops. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? Adam doesn't need to know that information for what? The audience doesn't need to know that information for what? They're not gang related. You know what I mean? 
So you're only going to bring the heat to you, you know, and throw these fools under the bus. And you already said you have evidence to that. You know? Or, you know, they can interrogate Adam since he, you know, was a witness to this video. And then he could throw you guys under the bus. <laughs> and all because you decided to, you know, you wanted some... I don't know, respect from the internet. You get what I mean? You guys should have left it among you guys yourselves because that's the only people that need to know what's up. And the streets already know what it is because, you know, word travels. So the only ones that need to know would have known. But no, people want to feel like they're big and bad and want the audience to see them that way. People are still going to judge and, and label you whatever they're going to label you or think, you know, that you're this isn't that regardless of what you do and what you put out there. You know what I mean? If you know that you're with the business and why you're so desperately always trying to prove that you're with the business. Are you not confident in your street cred? <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you view yourself in some type of way? Do you feel like people have some value to what the shit that they're saying? Because, you know, he's saying it like if he was the one that did it, but he was saying that he had, or individuals he knew. So, I mean, you didn't take part in the Rainier game, so what was the whole point of bringing up this whole incident for then? Because you, were you weren't the one out there in combat, so <laughs> what's the reason to bring up the story then? How is that going to give you some kind of respect? It's not. It'll give your homie some respect. Like, them individuals are some real goons that were really going out there and doing it for something that this individual should have gone and done. <laughs> and like I said, anyone could take an L. Individuals out there with the business, bro. Don't think that, that just because, you know, there's more Hispanic gangs or larger, whatever, that they, they, they throw their weight around, bro. These, these um, crib and, you know, blood sets out here are with the business, bro. Brothers are with the business. They, they don't fear nobody. They're a prideful warrior group just like every other ethnicity. They will stand on business, bro. Look, nobody out here is untouchable. Anybody could get touched from the biggest and baddest to the craziest fighters to the, you know, most, you know, biggest or buffest or, you know, witted, you know, but anybody could be touched, bro. Don't think that you're untouchable. Nobody is untouchable in this world. Anybody could get it. Anybody could be touched. Anybody could lose their life in a second. Show respect and watch how you talk to people. Because don't think that you can't be touched because you could out here in the jungle. How many people have to lose their lives for people to fucking realize that shit? You know what I mean? Anybody can get it. You are not untouchable. Money can't save you. Nothing can save you. The only thing that can save you is your mouth. You know, the tongue is the greatest weapon. It could start wars and it could end wars. So watch how you maneuver your tongue. You know? Don't let your tongue control you. You control your tongue. Watch what you say. You know what I mean? And what you do. You know? Because, you know, Wag being out there thinking like if he can't be touched either, right? <laughs> this is not the way to go about it. Or for, for it to be thrown out there. And for both sides to be thinking like this is some kind of victory for them or F the other side. Like, what are you guys talking about, bro? This is between two individuals, their beef. I don't know why people are trying to get race involved or, you know, you know, inject themselves into the conflict. Bro, that is an incident between two individuals. Mind your own. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's street activity. But I'm just saying... Overall, the shenanigans should be off the internet. But that's just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments and shout out. We out.